Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Cosmic Culture, the channel where we talk about all major movie and television news, theories, breakdowns, and more. I'm Chris, and nobody is more excited for the Obi-Wan series coming to Disney Plus than Obi-Wan himself, Ewan McGregor. And today we have another round of interviews where he was talking about the future of the series, what we can expect, his expectations, and something peculiar and very distinct about a possibility of Luke Skywalker making an appearance on the series. We're going to cover that interview and talk about it and keep you up to date for this series. Also, all things Star Wars, MCU, DC, and much, much more. So if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. And our giveaway for a Captain America shield ends very, very soon. Ends Friday. So be sure to subscribe and comment down below so you can enter for your chance to win. Also, go check out the Cosmic Wonders YouTube channel if you aren't subscribed already, as that's also a requirement for the giveaway. Good luck. So this specific interview comes from The Hollywood Reporter where they recently talked to McGregor about his current hype due to the role he is planning on playing Obi-Wan Kenobi in the Star Wars series Obi-Wan Kenobi. And I think it's pretty interesting because they asked him about the possibility of this character being replaced by a new actor and he himself even said it was pretty humiliating to imagine that they were even contemplating that they would replace a character that he's been playing since 1999, and a character he's been playing very well. He's built up quite the fan base, and there really aren't many people who complain about the way Obi-Wan was played throughout the years. He says specifically, I'd see stuff on social media like they better cast Ewan as Obi-Wan, and I wasn't able to say anything, but it was pretty humiliating to think that Disney might be thinking about casting someone else. Now I find this interesting because we've been talking about an Obi-Wan standalone series for a long time, much longer than even Disney Plus has been around. And it has been a rumor that it was going to happen as well, not just a fan theory or a fan dream. So the idea of Obi-Wan being replaced and played by somebody else possibly was tossed around, but I don't think anybody actually thought that Ewan McGregor would not return to play Obi-Wan, and this also shows that they've been talking about this series for a very long time, has been planned out for a very long time, is going to be well thought out, and it's going to be an exciting Star Wars event. Now, we know they haven't started filming just yet, but he has done some screen tests, they have started building the set, and he has started training for the choreography of a lot of the saber battles, even saying he's been training for two and a half to three hours daily to get ready for filming. So that's super exciting and shows a lot of excitement from McGregor himself. But branching off of this question, they asked him if some of those screen tests could potentially be with a young version of Luke Skywalker. And this is what McGregor had to say. That's very possible. I don't know. So two very different and almost contradicting responses in a tiny little sentence to this inquiry about a young Skywalker, which was a pretty hot topic rumor going around and probably still is, as a lot of people anticipate that we will see Obi-Wan looking over Skywalker from a distance and maybe even interact with him in some ways. But it's a response that's very possible, I don't know, that kind of has me a little bit intrigued here. It isn't just a coy response, it's something more specific than that, whereas maybe he even made a mistake going into to it like oh that's very possible um no i don't know so we don't really know exactly what's going on and of course this isn't a huge reveal for whether or not skywalker will be there but i do think it's very on the table and of course it would be awesome to see now we can't see him with a lightsaber or dueling or fighting or even using the force since none of that was happening back when obi-wan met with him in the original trilogy but we know already we're going to get a ton of super cool lightsaber battles. Darth Vader is making a return and will be appearing, and we're supposed to be getting a huge rematch between the two of them. And I think there is cause for a lot of excitement around this project and everything that is going to start taking place from it. Just an all-around fan-favorite character, a fan-favorite timeline, a lot of unexplained things that have happened between the third and fourth movie, and we're going to get a lot of answers for some of those different things. And of course, a possibility of new characters introduced or characters reintroduced and stories being branched off from there. We know Disney Plus is not trying to limit the amount of projects they can do. If anything, they're maximizing the total amount of projects for all different franchises, including Star Wars. So a lot of reasons to be excited moving into this project but let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below simply do you think he will make an appearance or you think he will not make an appearance in the obi-wan kenobi series thank you guys so much for everybody watched till the very end of the video if you found it helpful useful or entertaining be sure to subscribe turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any of our daily uploads right here on cosmic culture